Welcome to the 16th lecture on calculus. Today we will discuss ratio test, root test and integral test. So in the previous class we have discussed comparison test. So here we discuss three more tests which help us to determine whether a series of real numbers is convergent or divergent. So here is the ratio test. You consider a series of real numbers. So this term it can be positive or negative. Then you consider this ratio that is the absolute value of the n plus first term divided by the absolute value of the nth term and if limit n tends to infinity of this ratio suppose it is L. Then this theorem says that if L is less than 1 then this series of real numbers this is convergent and if L is greater than 1 then this series of real numbers this is divergent. And if this limit L, if it is 1, then the series can be convergent or divergent. In this case, we cannot conclude anything. But in these two cases, we can conclude something. So if L is less than 1, then the series is convergent. If L is greater than 1, then the series is divergent. So this is called ratio test. Because uh, if we consider the limit of this ratio of this absolute values, uh, suppose it is L and if some condition satisfied then we can conclude whether the series is convergent or divergent. So here is an example. So you consider this real number r then for this r you have this geometric series. In the lecture on geometric series we have proved that this series is convergent if and only the absolute value of r is less than 1. Let us verify this fact using ratio test. So you consider this case separately suppose the absolute value of r is same as 1 that means you have two cases either r is 1 or r is minus 1. So in these cases you can consider this series separately for example if uh, r is 1 then of course uh, r power n so this is also this is a constant sequence and it converges to 1. So limit is not 0 so it is not satisfying the necessary condition for a series to be convergent. So if r is 1 then this series it is divergent series. and if r is minus 1 then also the limit of the nth term it is non-zero. So in that case also this series it has to be a divergent series and then you consider this case. So here absolute value of r it is not equal to 1 and in this case we can apply ratio test to conclude this fact. How? Because if we consider this ratio of the absolute values, so this is the absolute value of the n plus first term of this series and divided by the absolute value of the nth term. Okay. So limit n tends to infinity of this ratio, it is just absolute value of r. Then if you apply ratio test, it says that if this limit is less than 1, then your series is convergent. So in this case, it is convergent. And if this limit is greater than 1, in that case this series is divergent. And we have already verified that if absolute value of r is same as 1, then this series is divergent. So we have this fact that this series is convergent if and only if absolute value of r is less than 1. And next we see the root test, uh, it is Cauchy's root test. So you consider again a series of real numbers and in this case you consider the limit n tends so it is limit n tends to infinity absolute value uh, x sub n power 1 by n. Suppose this limit is L and if L is less than 1 then the series is convergent and if L is greater than 1 then the series is divergent. And in this case when L is same as 1 then you cannot conclude anything. So in this case series can be convergent or divergent. We will see example at the end. So again you consider this geometric series. So uh, we, we have already verified this fact using ratio test and we can verify this fact using root test also. So you consider this case separately and then this case you can verify using root test. So in this case the limit n tends to infinity of you consider the absolute value of the nth term power 1 by n. So this limit it will be same as absolute value of r. So if you apply root test then you can conclude the same thing. 
in in the theorem of ratio test and root test we we said that if this limit is 1 and in in case of root test if this limit is 1 then we cannot conclude anything so here are two examples in one case the series is divergent and in another case the series is convergent so you consider this series and in, for this series if you consider this ratio its limit it is just 1 and if you consider the absolute nth root of this absolute value so in this case also it is just it is limit n tends to infinity 1 by n power 1 by n so you use the relation between limit and uh, algebraic operations so since the limit of the denominator it is 1 so ultimately this limit that will be 1 so so in this case you can see this limit is 1 and this limit that is also 1 but uh, in this case this series is divergent and if you consider this series in this case also this limit is 1 and this limit is 1 but in this case it is convergent so this uh, th this series is convergent uh, so this i will leave it as exercise and so using cauchy's criterion one can verify that this series is convergent okay so anyway so from here we can conclude that uh, in case of ratio test if this limit is 1 then we cannot conclude anything so if this limit is 1 then your series it can be convergent or it can be divergent in case of root test if this limit is 1 then then also you cannot conclude anything so your series it can be convergent or divergent and here is integral test so you consider f of x so this is a function of single variable and this is a positive monotone decreasing function defined on the interval this so it is closed one and open infinity so starting from one in this range uh, your function is defined in this range and it is positive function so f of x it is greater than zero and it is monotone decreasing so as you increase the value of x your uh, function value th uh, that will be smaller so it is so just like this this is an example of monotone decreasing function okay and then you, you so f of n if you set it as a suffix n for all n belongs to this set of natural numbers then you can consider this series so summation a sub n n varies from 1 to infinity so what is integral test this integral test is saying that in this case when f of x is a positive monotone decreasing function defined in this range then suppose uh, this a suffix n is f of n so in th in that case you can consider this series so integral test is saying that this series is convergent if and only if this improper integral is finite so let's see an example so for a real number p you can consider this series that we call p series and the fact is that that this p series it is convergent if and only if p is greater than 1 so let's verify this fact using integral test okay so we have already verified that this series it is divergent if p is less than or equal to 1 so using comparison test we have verified this fact if p is less than or equal to 0 then also we can give one simple argument that in this case why this series is divergent so if p is less than or equal to 0 then this limit n tends to infinity this nth term limit n tends to infinity of the nth term it is it is not zero so in this case it is not satisfying the necessary condition for a series to be convergent so if a series is convergent then the limit of the nth term that should be zero but in this case this limit is non-zero so you can conclude that in this case this series is divergent and so then you consider so this is your case 1 and this is your case 2 so case 2 in case 2 you should consider that p is greater than 0 and we, we use integral test to uh, to verify that in this case 
you have this result. So this series is convergent if and only if p is greater than 1 and if p lies in between this then this series is divergent. Okay. So how we can use integral test here? So though integration will be discussed in the next course calculus 2. So let us verify the example by integral test and why I am considering this case only and we can apply integral test on this case only because your function should be positive monotone decreasing function. Okay. So in this case if you set your function f of x that is 1 by x power p. So you can see that in this case when p is greater than 0 then this function it is monotone decreasing function okay, in this range. Okay. And then f of n it is just 1 by n power p. So this is the nth term of this series. This test is saying that this is finite if and only if your series is convergent. And let us see when this improper integration is finite. So we do it here. In this case you have to compute that integration from 1 to infinity 1 by x dx. So it is just ln of x and in this case it is infinite. And what about this case when p is not equal to 1. So in this case you can consider so I should write here. So I am considering this case p is greater than 0 because I want that this function it should be monotone decreasing function. Okay. So I want to apply this integral test. So this function is monotone decreasing function. So I am considering only this case and in this case I am computing this improper integration. Okay. So when p is 1 then it is infinity and when p is not equal to 1 then 1 this thing it is 1 by x power p dx. So it is 1 integration from 1 to infinity x power minus p dx. So it is x power 1 minus p divided by 1 minus p. So range is this. And in this case we can, so this is finite if and only if this p is greater than 1. So if this p is greater than 1 then you can see that 1 minus p it is something negative and in that case if so if you substitute x equal to infinity then you will get 0. So this thing it is giving some finite value when p is greater than 1 and if p is uh, less than 1 if p is less than 1 of course this is giving uh, so this is infinity. Okay. So this thing is finite if and only p is greater than 1 and if p is equal to 1 then anyway this is uh, infinity. So we have this fact then so this is finite if and only p is greater than 1 in this case. And for this case we can apply integral test to conclude that this series is convergent if and only p is greater than 1. Okay. And this case we have verified in this way. So in this case this series is divergent. So we have the fact that this p series is convergent if and only if this real number p it is greater than 1. And that's all. I will stop now.